Welcome to the Unit 10 Notes on Perimeter and Area Formulas. Before we jump in, it's important to refresh some of our algebra skills, skills that we learned back in elementary and middle school. So our first couple of pages here are going to be dedicated to learning about multiplying and combining like terms. So our first strategy that we're going to talk about is this box area method of multiplication. Now this should look familiar to you. This is something that you guys did way back on uh, early in elementary school and middle school. So to use the box area method, uh, you're going to basically show this geometric representation of the distribution method. So we're going to multiply 6 times 29. Now to do 6 times 29, we can create a geometric representation of two rectangles, one that it has the dimension 6 by 20 and the other 6 by 9. And when we find the area of those, we simply multiply their dimensions. So 6 times 20 is 120. And then 6 times 9 is 54. So we say the combined area represents the product of 6 times 29. When we add those two together, we get a combined area of 174. And therefore, the product of 6 times 29 is 174. So we are going to build upon this idea of the box area method to now show that we can multiply numbers that are in the two digits. So for example, let's multiply the product, or let's find the product of 14 times 31. To do so, we're going to take 14 and divide it up into two parts, 10 plus 4, and we're going to divide 30 into 30 plus 1. And again, what we do is we find the area of each one of these rectangles that represents the product of those dimensions. So 10 times 30 gives me 300, 10 times 1 is 10, 30 times 4 is 120, and then 4 times 1 is 4. Therefore, when we add up the area of all four of these smaller rectangles, we will find the product of 14 times 31. That's 300, 130, and 4. So 300, 130, and 4 gives us 434 for the product of 14 times 31. Now let's talk about combining some like terms. You guys have learned that like terms are terms that have the same variable to the same exponent. So as we go through our expression here, let's just underline or circle like terms. So 6y is going to be a like term with 7y negative 5y cubed and negative y cubed are also like terms. So combining these, I end up with negative 6y cubed. A positive 6y and a positive 7y gives me positive 13y. I'm always going to try to write my new expression or my simplified expression in decreasing order of powers. All right, next up we're going to um, now simplify this expression by using the distribution property to distribute that 2 in. So we have 2x squared minus 10 minus 10x squared plus 4x minus 9. All right, now as we go through, we're going to uh, underline and circle our like terms. So I have a x squared term and a negative 10x squared we can combine. And then I have constants negative 10 and negative 9. So combining these and writing in decreasing order of exponents, I'm going to have a negative 8x squared minus, oops, sorry, minus, no, positive 4x, sorry about that, and then a minus 19. Again, this is in descending order of exponents. And that's known as standard form. All right, example four. Now we're going to throw in some variables here. So we're going to use both the distribution property and the box area method to find the product of the monomial, which remember is just a singular term, and the binomial 5x minus 8. So let's start off by using the box area method. We have a rectangle that has the dimensions 2x by 5x. That's 2 times 5, which is 10. And then x times x, remember, is x squared. Anytime we add variables, x plus x, we add the coefficients in front of them, which would give us 2x. However, when we multiply our variables, x times x, we're increasing their exponents. So this becomes x squared. All right, next we have 2x times that negative 8, and that gives us negative 16x. Let's see what we would get if we use the distribution property. We have 2x times the quantity 5x minus 8. Whoops. 
when we distribute that 2x to the 5x and the 2x to the negative 8, we're going to end up with the same product, 10x squared minus 16x. So you can see the geometric representation here verifies that algebraic property of the distribution property. All right, example five says use the box area method to find the product of the binomials 2x plus 4 and 3x plus 6. So again, we're going to write out the geometric representation here by creating this rectangle. Our dimensions 2x plus 4 and 3x plus 6. Now we are going to multiply and find the area of each one of these individual rectangles. So that 3 times 2 gives me 6x squared. That 3x times a positive 4 gives me 12x. 2x now times positive 6 gives me another 12x. And then finally a positive 6 and a positive 4 gives me positive 24. So the final expression that represents this area and represents the product of 2x plus 4 times 3x plus 6 is equal to the expression 6x squared plus 20, oopsie, 24x. I started to say 24, but I started to write 12. So let's erase that and write 24x plus 24. All right, let's tackle one more example problem here. It says, given the rectangle pictured in the diagram with the dimensions 2t plus 5 plus 6t minus 3, we want to find now an expression for the perimeter. So keep in mind, an expression means it's going to be that. It's going to be in terms of uh, a variable and some constants, but it's not actually going to be a value. All right, so perimeter, remember, means addition all the way around. And because this is a rectangle, we know our opposite sides are going to be congruent. So each of these widths here will be 2t plus 5. So there's actually two of them. So we can write 2 times 2t plus 5. And then we can add to that 2 times the width of or the length of this rectangle, which would be 6t minus 3. All right, following our distribution property here, we're going to end up with 4t plus 10 plus 12t minus 6. Now we can combine our like terms. Oops, that somehow ended up being a, a pentagon. So minus 6 there. All right, we're going to combine our like terms. We've got 4t and 12t. That's going to give us 16t. 10 and a negative 6 gives us a positive 4. So here's an expression that represents the perimeter. Now, using the extended distribution property, write an expression for the area of the rectangle. Well, again, keep in mind the area formula for a rectangle is simply length times width, or another way of saying that is base times height. So we're going to take the product of our dimensions here. So that will be 2t plus 5 times the product 6t minus 3. So you can either choose to use the box area method that we've been practicing in this lesson, or you can use the extended distribution property. For this problem, I will use the extended distribution property. Why don't you pause the video and try one of these two methods on your own and check back in with the answer. All right, did you get 12t squared plus 24t minus 15 as the expression for the area of this rectangle? If so, you're tracking with what we're doing. If not, maybe you want to go back and give it a shot or try the geometric representation and fill in all the areas of these boxes individually like we did in previous examples. All right, that's a little bit about multiplying with monomials and binomials, combining like terms. Uh, give the practice problems a shot for today. Check back in tomorrow for another video.